hey y'all i'm kind of being quiet because i'm out in the park and there's some people walking and people on horses and i want to be respectful but i think y'all heard me talk about how on my Substack at parttimefunnyman.com i do a thing called after airs where when i forget something in my notes on the show and then the show's over i go talk about it on my Substack. so here's an example of that this is this week's after airs enjoy What's up, gang gang? It's After Airs. Uh, I, this is from a long time ago on Putting On Airs. I did an episode on the Titanic. The reason that I'm going back so long for this edition of After Airs is because I actually didn't leave anything out to my knowledge in the three-parter on Barbie. But I was just re-listening to some stuff on the Titanic. And one thing that I think is noteworthy that I don't think I covered in the episode is that like I knew that tickets for first class were super expensive like duh of course you knew that you know the Rockefellers and all these people who were in first class were paying top dollar but I didn't know that some of the top brass tickets were literally the equivalent of hundred and twelve thousand dollars nowadays and like that makes sense I guess but like that's crazy a <laughs> hundred because like dude I've flown first class before. It was expensive, but Jesus. Now granted, I know this is a boat trip. You gotta put all your shit on there. It's a whole different thing, but $112,000. And this is an individual ticket. And we know that these rich people had their families with them, right? So we're looking at like, you know, family of four, you do the math. It's absolutely insane. And thinking about what could have been different had the Titanic not sank or had some people who didn't get on the titanic get on the titanic famously jp morgan at the, now there's a lot of like people who always claim like oh i was gonna go but at the last second i decided not to but jp morgan actually like had a ticket and sold it to one of the other rich people and it's it's we have no reason to assume that jp morgan wouldn't have gone and if jp morgan had gotten on that uh, a, we wouldn't have the J.P. Morgan and Associates, which like, oh no, we wouldn't have a major corporation who screws over poor people all the time. Yeah, but he also, because of him and because of his investments, founded the Ford Motor Company, I'm pretty sure, Western Union, a whole ton of railroads. And um, it's not to say that somebody eventually wouldn't have done it, but the world would have looked way differently had they not happened when they happened. That's all I'm saying. So there's a little after airs from episode, I don't know which one it was, that we did on the Titanic. I think that it's about time for me to start entertaining, going back and doing some addendums to these episodes because I'm learning more and more every day on some of the history that at the time, let's face it, uh, I was real drunk. <laughs> but anyways, this has been After Airs. Thank you all for listening or watching Putting On Airs at watchpoa.com. It is my favorite podcast to do, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. If you like that, you can get that and so much more by subscribing to parttimefunnyman.com. It's $5 a month. It's a cup of coffee. If you can't afford it, I get it, but I sure would appreciate it because you're not only getting after airs, you're getting essays, you're getting park rants, and my new favorite edition, Pastor Petey Perkins does a Sunday sermon, and it is absolutely a blast. Every Sunday, uh, this preacher that I know that looks exactly like me named Petey Perkins gives a sermon. This week's was on Kid Rock drinking a Bud Light. So you can enjoy that by going to parttimefunnyman.com. But hey, even if you don't feel like doing that, I'm so glad to have you here as an airhead. And we'll see you every Friday. Remember, send mail to puttingonairs at gmail.com. Stay fancy, motherfuckers.